Hi, my name is OC Edge of Four, and you are watching OC's Tech Tips. Today, I have 10 tips for use of iPad in the classroom. Number one, speech to text for struggling writers. Sometimes pupils struggle to write down what they're thinking. When you use the iPad and you press the microphone next to the space bar, they can actually talk what they're thinking and say it into the tablet and it will turn it into text. It also helps children to be more eloquent and pronounce, pronounce, pronounce words correctly so that it comes out right. Number two, text to speech. Use voiceover. Turn any single text that is on your tablet into an audio book. The tablet will read out the text for you. It allows all pupils to become engaged with the text. Number three, lock down the iPads using guided access. Guided access, once enabled, locks pupils into one single application and stops them from jumping out and being distracted by other things, especially in EYFS in years one and two. Number four, display your child's work using airplay and your camera you can turn your camera on the iPad into a mobile visualizer which means that the focus group that you're working with can stay where they are you can stay where you are and you can display some great work on the board as long as you've got an Apple TV or some mirroring software on your computer such as air server you can do that and turn your iPad into a mobile visualizer number five FaceTime FaceTime another class FaceTime another school FaceTime another country there are so many ways you can use FaceTime it all depends on what you're doing what you're learning what you're studying but it is a great way to keep pupils engaged and also to encourage teamwork and collaboration. I've used it before in science lessons where we've had groups split into two. We've had an investigation group go out with the tablets into the playground, and we've had a research group stay inside the classroom and record their findings, and then they FaceTime the group that were inside to show them what they found and share information. Worked brilliantly. Number six, use text to speech in a language translation application. Now there are many language translation apps and some of them have the feature where it can turn the text that is typed in into audible speech. Now what I've done in the past is with pupils with English as an additional language, I've typed my instructions in English, translated it into their home language and I've pressed the speaker button and it has allowed the application to speak out in their language in a way that they can understand so that they can actually access my instructions in the lesson. У нас есть ассамблея прямо после перерыва время. Number seven, use a voice recording application to conduct interviews. Now interviews are so useful. They help pupils develop questioning skills, but it also is good for reflection and research, etc. When you have a school trip, take an iPad, interview a member of the public, interview a member of staff. Make sure that you ask their permission first if you want to use that recording for public use, i.e. on your school website or on your YouTube channel. Number eight, create a vlog. Now video logs are great and a lot of people use them. Pupils can use them to reflect on the things that they've learned. I've used it to allow pupils to think about the topics that they've most enjoyed learning about during the day and they've recorded their video log and they've actually saved it in a personal area that I can then access later and find out the different things that they've enjoyed most during the day. You can do it at the end of a day, you can do it at the end of the week as frequently or as infrequently as you like video log. Number nine, use GarageBand. Now GarageBand is so fantastic, it's so simple to use and pupils really enjoy it. Use it so that pupils create songs that help them to revise the topics that they've learned. They can create helpful songs, maybe for another year group, based on the things that they've learned to help others revise. And in the process, they're actually being able to revise content in a very fun way. Number 10, collaboration. Use a new collaboration feature in Pages and Keynote to create a collaborative piece of work. I suggest using Keynote for pupils in the same group to actually contribute on individual tablets towards the same presentation. They can then use AirPlay to show it at the end of the lesson. Okay, that's it. Those are my 10 tips for use of iPad in the classroom. I hope you've enjoyed them. If you can think of any more ideas for use of iPad in the classroom, please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done already, please subscribe, please like, and please share. And if you wanna be notified, hit the notification bell once you've subscribed and you'll be emailed when I release a new tech tip. Okay, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time on OC's Tech Tips.